Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Ajay and in this video, we'll discuss about VCS. VCS stands for version control system. Okay. So in this particular video, we are going to see that what is a version control system. Then we'll see that different types that is, you know, uh, what are the different types of your VCS and then we'll see what are the advantages as well as disadvantages of each type. Okay. So let's start with the video. So first of all, what we are going to discuss here is about VCS. What is a VCS or what is a version control system? So if we discuss about version control system, it's a system that records changes to a pile or a set of files. Okay. So means if you are having a file and you are making changes over time, so you can record all those changes. Okay. So that system that helps you to record all the changes to track all the changes that is a version control system. Okay. So now why do we need a version control system? Okay, so there are certain reasons you need a version control system. There can be collaboration, history and backup. So if we discuss about collaboration, so basically collaboration means multiple individuals, they can work on the same file at the same time. Means simultaneously multiple people can work on the same project. Okay, if we talk about history, so it gives you ability to revert back to the old changes. Okay, and you can track back, trace back the changes that over time, what all the changes have been made inside the project or that particular file okay then if we discuss about backup so it safeguards you against unintended changes or losses okay so it helps you to track the changes also and kind of a copy of the project is saved every time you move to a newer version okay so that is kind of a backup also so these all are the facilities that are provided, uh, provided by your version control system now we'll see what are the different types of your version control system. So if we talk about the version control system types, so we have two types here, that is your centralized versus distributed. Okay, means centralized VCS and distributed VCS. So if we talk about your centralized VCS, so in the centralized VCS, all the version history is stored in a central server. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the centralized architecture. And in this particular architecture, here we have a central repository and that is stored in a single system itself. Okay, it will not be present to the every system. It will be there in a central server only. And the individuals who are working on it, they will only have the working copy. Okay, they are not going to have the entire project. They will just have the working copy of the project, means the latest version of that particular project. Okay, and then we have the distributed so if we talk about the distributed, in the distributed architecture, what is going to happen? Every single, you know, node is going to have the working copy or I'll say full repository. Okay, means kind of it is a clone of the actual repository. Okay, so centralized means all the version history is stored in a central server that will be centralized. And in case of distributed, what is going to happen? Each user has a complete copy of entire version. Okay, so every user is going to have, you know, uh, from the start till the end, all the version copies. Okay, so that is your centralized versus distributed. Now for each, we'll see what are the, you know, uh, advantages and challenges to each particular architecture. So let's move on. So if we move to the centralized architecture, okay, so Let's talk about the advantages of the centralized architecture. And if you see about the advantages of the centralized architecture, so you can see we have simplified model. Why? Because your entire version history will be there in the central server only. Okay. And then it has a single point of access. So everybody will be accessing from the same server. Okay. Then access control. So whenever users, they are accessing. Okay. We, here we have example of two persons who are accessing or working on the same project. So you can apply permissions also for individual users. Okay, those are the advantages or facilities provided by your centralized architecture. And now if we talk about the challenges, so we have a single point of failure. Single point of failure means if your central repository fails, then nobody will have a copy. Okay, no one is going to have a copy of the project. And then if there is challenge about the speed also, because the speed of the project is completely going to based on the performance of this central server. Okay, so it is directly related to the central server's speed. Okay. Now, the same thing if we see about the distributed architecture. Okay. 
so in the distributor architecture everyone is having a full copy of or full you know full version as history every system is having a full version history so we can say that full backup is present here okay so every user is going to have a complete copy of the project and if we talk about speed so operations accept the push and pull because these will be taken and you know moved to the remote repository other than that all the operations they are faster because they are local okay every user is doing all the task on their own system itself okay they don't have to fetch all the things from the central server then we have collaboration because here you can see in the collaboration branching and merging are easier because again we are you know actually working on the local project only we are not working on the central repository so every time you don't have to uh, every time like, let's say uh, we have you know uh, uh, there is a project and on the project five people are working so one person is responsible and if you take an example of web development so let's say a project of web development is there and now there is a specific user who is dedicated to uh, you know enhance the ui so he will be working on the ui part okay only ui he will be changing then there can be a user who is working on the code or the features that what all the new features will be added so there is a dedicated person for that also now what will happen collaboration is there means multiple people are there and they are working on the same project okay so the person who is working over the ui he can create branches over the ui part and the person who is working over for the features he can create you know branches for the features so basically branches are created whenever you want to test a new feature or you know you want to make some changes okay so in an isolated environment you can you know create okay all those changes are good and stable you can merge them okay so collaboration facility is also provided by the distributed architecture then if we talk about the challenges so challenges are there obviously there is a complexity because if there is a new user and they uh he also wants to be a part of the project then they will have to learn the entire thing you know they have to learn about the branching merging push pull all these things they have to learn at a time so the learning curve is steeper okay at the same time they have to learn everything and sometimes for new users it can be really you know hectic or kind of tough then if we talk about redundancy so in case of centralized architecture if the central server was failing in that case the other users they were not getting the copies but in case of your distributed architecture what is going to happen that all the users are having the same copy of the project okay so there is a redundancy that at a moment if one of the node fails one of the system fails so other systems they will not get affected and they still have a copy or you can say backup okay so these are the challenges as well as the advantages of your centralized as well as distributed vcs okay <laughs> so i hope i was able to clear you uh, uh, i was able to provide you the knowledge about you know uh, vcs as well as what are the different architectures challenges and advantages so if you have any queries drop down those in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye